I live in East Oh, sorry. I didn't think it would say that out loud. <laughs> Go ahead. Do I have to hit anything? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, where did I leave off? Sorry, um, you have a stepson. And I have a stepson. He is not in the house anymore. He left a couple years ago. Um, I work as a uh, licensed medical social worker in hospice. But my history is I've done child welfare. Actually, I met my coach, Kim, when I was doing um, mental health work in the community. Um, I don't know what else to say. So what did you say you're doing now for work? I am a medical social worker working in hospice. Oh, okay. All right. Of life care. <laughs> yes. At their home or at like um, a facility? I actually do both. I work for Lehigh Valley um, Health Network and I do uh, patients who are at home hospice okay. and I go into the homes, provide support to families and to the patient. Um, and then I also work at the hospice house in Monroe County, if locals know where that is. Um, and I'm the inpatient social worker there. Wow, your job is so needed. And I, I mean, we were just talking about hospice care the other day and thank you for what you do that is oh, huge you. that is really big that you help so many people in such a time of okay I'm not gonna cry anyway so um <laughs> <laughs> that's every day of my work life I'm crying <laughs> over somebody <laughs> I can't imagine I cannot imagine I always say it takes a special person I am not that person <laughs> and you know what I never thought I was either when I worked in mental health I had a uh, patient or a client's mom that was in hospice I'm like how the hell do you do that there is no way and where do I end up <laughs> I would think it's a it's also fulfilling I mean you're helping it people is. it is when they really really need it at, at their lowest moments right it so. really is I mean I walk out of work every day and feel like I've done something which is very important for me <laughs> that's amazing well thank you thank you for doing that that's huge so tell us a little bit Kim's your coach right yes all right tell us a little bit about See, I know nothing. So I love this. I know nothing about Christy, <laughs> literally nothing. I know absolutely nothing about Christy. Okay. So tell me um, how you know Kim, and, but also um, what made you even like get connected with Kim to be part of this community? Um, I met Kim, gosh, I think back in like 2008 when we were, but well, actually I was working at Salisbury she was working somewhere else and she ended up coming to work for us. Okay. And I worked with her for, gosh, I think like four years. And we stayed connected on Facebook and Instagram. And last 2020 in, I think it was the end of May, I kept seeing her posts about how she gets up and she works out every day. And I was doing CrossFit for years. But with the pandemic, <laughs> I wasn't leaving. I was doing like they were sending, um, like it wasn't on Zoom, but they would send like through Facebook. They would say, hey, this is the workout of the day. But when there's no one to do it with, <laughs> are you really doing it? And no one's really yeah. pushing you. And CrossFit really, it was getting to be, it wasn't my thing. Like I wasn't good at it. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. get the bars over my head. <laughs> um, and then I joined Kim. I did the year challenge thing thinking, yeah, I'm going to put like a month into this and I'm going to be done. And I'm going to have wasted all of this money. And but a year and a few months later, I'm up at 5 a.m. every morning on the gym. This is amazing. And I love it. Kaylee says, love hearing your voice. I see you every day on the Zoom gym. Now I get to hear your story. <laughs> That is so cool that you were doing, you were doing CrossFit and then, yeah, the, you know, pandemic screwed everybody when it comes to in-class fitness, but. In my gym, my husband, or in my garage, my husband said that like a corner of his garage is my workout area. He had, he got me, I remember being so excited because he got me a barbell for Christmas, like two years ago. It <laughs> leans up against the wall now. <laughs> <laughs> but I got know, my hands and I got my track on the wall from autumn it's just I I absolutely love it and I love getting on there every morning it's like oh, I don't want to get out of bed this morning I'm like but I know Kim's gonna be on the gym and Becca and I love it yes I love you know it's funny because some people say oh 
before they ever even know what we do, they're like, well, I'm, I need to go to a gym and be in person. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I need to do this or I need group classes. And I'm always like, you have girl, you have no idea what you're saying no to. Like you're saying no to that plus more. <laughs> you I know what I mean? Everybody at work. And I was like the CrossFit crazy lady for the longest time. And now I'm at work going, well, beach body this and my beach body group and my beach body girls. And I think they just roll their eyes at me and like, you know, whatever. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the next fad going to be for you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a fad is not something that you stick to long term, which you're already yeah. stuck to. So it's yeah. not much of a fad. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> I love it. So obviously you just said, you know, certain things that have helped you a lot, but, um, let's talk about the virtual gym. I mean, you just mentioned it. The virtual gym has really helped you a ton. What program did you start with? Bar blend. Bar blend, such a good program. Did you get on, go ahead. No, go ahead. Did you get on the virtual gym right away? Absolutely with bar blend? not. Absolutely not. Okay. Kaylee was sending me text messages and messengers why don't I see you on the gym? Why don't you go on the gym? Here's the link. Here's the link. And I'm like, I'm not getting on there doing like leg lifts on the side. I'm doing bar blends. <laughs> like, I can't do that in public. <laughs> and then I got on once and then I didn't get on again. And then I was working on at night at that time. And then I was doing the morning to meet Kim on the gym. And I can't work out with, even if I'm the only one on there, I have to be on there. <laughs> So is the, oh gosh, I have so many questions. So <laughs> first of all, was Kaylee messaging you because you were posting in the BOD group and she saw yeah. that, but then she didn't see you in the gym. Is that yeah. right? I see Kaylee yeah. on here. Kaylee was, I think Kaylee is usually on in the morning and she saw the times that I was posting my pics um, while you're on the gym, get on the gym. <laughs> okay. That little bugger, Kaylee. Yes, She's such I a, know. A, a voice in everybody's ear. Um, so <laughs> she keeps me on track too. It's all good. So <laughs> tell me, um, finally you decided to get on there because you said Kim was wanting to meet you in the morning. Did you decide like, oh, hey, I think I should start working out in the morning? Like, I don't what know what happened. I don't know what, I remember the first couple of mornings I had my alarm set and I'm dragging. I'm like, I am not a morning worker outer. I have to do it in the evening. And then I was just, my day was phenomenal. Like I had all of this energy and I got to come home from work and spend time with my husband that I didn't have to go out to the garage. It wasn't, oh, come on. You got to go work out. It just, I get up. It's, I, I can't get up and not do something now. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. It's so true. Do you know how many people say that I'm not a morning worker outer and then, and then they start becoming a morning worker outer. And I love that. You're like, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even on the weekends or on vacation, I'm up at four 30. Like, <laughs> you know, people who don't wake up in the morning, they look at us like we're absolutely insane until they do it themselves. Mm -hmm. And then they realize, wow, you know, maybe all those people who talked about waking up in the morning and getting your workout done, maybe it really was something. <laughs> yeah, my mom questions whether or not I'm really her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> because she's like, no one in our, our family is like this. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, that is so great. Okay, cool. So I, like I said before, I don't know really much anything about you other than that you've been recommended by others to do this talk. So that's really freaking cool. Um, tell me a little bit about your, um, like you started with Bar Blend. Obviously you did Control Freak. You said you had the track, yes. right? Yes. How do you feel in your like physicality? How do you feel compared to what you were doing prior to Beachbody? Do you feel like you've been, this is good for maintaining what you already set up or are you feeling different? Like how I'm, do you- I'm feeling healthier. Like the other stuff, it was just pure, how heavy can you lift and you lift it, you throw it around. It wasn't like customized. Um, right now I'm doing 645 and oh my God, I am just learning. Actually Autumn start, like I learned a lot from Autumn and even Elise from doing Bar Blend of like the body mechanics, how this is connected to this. And if this is out of whack, this is going to be out of whack. And it's just, it's just not to use Kaylee's, but it's from the inside out <laughs> that I just, I just feel healthier. I feel stronger. I'm more centered. I'm 
can be a very negative person and it, that's like flipped. Like I'm able to, all right, stop myself on the tracks that I need to flip this around. I don't know what happened. <laughs> second time you said it I'm loving it <laughs> Amanda's like in here it happened in here <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that is so great and what about your nutrition what did you have you learned anything along the way or tweaked anything that you feel like this has helped you with um my nutri- I'm able to be much more flexible than it was before it was like you can have this you can't have carbs yeah. and i can have whatever i want i just need to plan ahead not that i always do because i'll do i'll be like three or four weeks i'm awesome i'm awesome and my husband's like hey want to go dairy queen well yeah of course i do <laughs> well, that's and exactly that, what you're saying though that's very balanced but that'll throw me off track because i'll be like ah oh, i messed up this is not the way i'm supposed to be doing it i'm gonna gain all my way back and then I get on like a tizzy for a couple of weeks and then I'm able to rein myself in. But again, it's the bad group. It's like this one screwed up and everyone's talking about, oh my God, I just ruined everything. And it's everybody kind of coaching everybody that, hey, it's okay, you can do this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. And you know what? I feel like we need that in pretty much every area of our life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like for real, it's not just nutrition, it's everything. (laughs) That's awesome. I love that you, did you listen to any of the um, programs? Like, did you? Yeah, I'm doing uh, the portion portion fix. Uh I did try, I think when I, I forget which program I was on that I started trying to do the time nutrition, but I just, I I couldn't do it. Yeah. So if you're listening, time nutrition is part of portion fix, but portion fix has different paths. Yeah. And so right now you're doing just like regular yes. foundational. What, what yeah. You call it. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I've tried doing the other ones, but I don't like being told that I have to eat these at this meal Yeah. <laughs> and I can't get up and eat. Like I need to get up, have my energized. I work out, come in with my recover. And then I have my breakfast like an hour or so later. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So I I totally understand what you're saying. The flexibility of the foundation is way easier for you to stick to than the strictness of time nutrition. It's funny because I find it comes in waves for me. Like it just depends on the season I'm in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I need it more flexible and sometimes I don't. And that's what I love about the idea of having different tracks, different, Mm -hmm. you know, ways that you can go, which is so great. Tell me um, about Energize and Recover. How have they helped you? Recover has been amazing because I would, a lot of the programs that were like the six day a week, like you're doing something every single day that by like Thursday of the week, I couldn't move my body. Like I was so sore. So I think I, first I started with just using the recharge at night. Mm -hmm. I hurt my back and the ingredient that was in recharge was something that my doctor had prescribed for me to take. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do it in a shake form instead. Get out of here. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. So then I started with the recover and I really don't get sore now. Like I do recover every single day. Is the ingredient in recover or recharge? Recharge the, um, is it tart cherry? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. There's something in there that he had said, oh, well go get this pill. And I was like, oh, but that's an ingredient in this shake that I take with my exercise program. Okay. And I don't do recharge all the time, only when like I'm feeling like my soreness coming on because I yeah. have, I have like low back issues. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that if I focus every night going in and actually like foam rolling my legs at like my thighs and my hips that my back doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have low back issues also. And if I foam roll my piriformis. If you guys want to know where that is, it's right here on your butt. Anyway, (laughs) if you foam roll your piriformis, your hips, your hamstrings, and your quads, it actually will help you a ton with your lower back. A lot of people, not everybody, but a lot Uh, of people. Whenever I feel my lower back tightening up, it's like, ooh, I need to go do some stretches or foam rolling. So Kaylee wants to know, do you mix your recharge with water or do you blend it with other stuff? Recharge, I do with water. So recharge guys is the nighttime supplement that you can take before going to bed basically. And it has vanilla in it. I don't know. Were you drinking it at night before you go to bed or were you just drinking it after your workout? No, I drink it before I go to bed. Yeah. Okay. Like an hour before I go to bed. 
Okay, so just like the package says, drink it before you go to bed. And then um, you said you mix it with just water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And did you I shake it or did you blend it? Oh, everything is blended. But I <laughs> don't put ice in the recharge because it like it like clumps up. It's very thick. <laughs> It's very yeah. thick, yeah. So you just blend it in a blender with yes. water and yeah. and the powder. I do believe everything tastes better blended, but whatever. yes, it does. <laughs> it does make a big difference. Um, okay, cool. I've also had it with blueberries in it, frozen blueberries. Mm. I I think I've done it once or twice with banana, but usually by the end of the day, I've already used up my purple. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Totally. So, do you drink Shakeology? Absolutely. Okay, tell me more about, oh, hold on, we didn't talk about Energize. What does Energize do for you? It gets me going. I actually take Energize again at about one o'clock in the afternoon to get me through my afternoon. I feel like we all do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, what, whatever gets you going, right? So, exactly. hey, listen, if you're not, if it's taking the place of coffee, why not, right? Actually, um, now I only drink about a half a cup, maybe one cup of coffee in the morning because mm -hmm. I can't have too much caffeine or people tell me to go away at work. <laughs> like bouncing off the walls. <laughs> I feel like we would have a very similar energy force between us. Um, so <laughs> tell me, tell me about, so, okay. Energize gets you going. You drink it like 20, 20 minutes before you work out, 15 minutes before you work out. Something. Actually, I usually take a couple gulps as I'm running down the steps to go to the garage and I drink it through my workout. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. And you just mix that with water. Yes. But I have that prepared ahead of time. Like I make like seven of them like on Sundays, I make it for the week and I throw it in the fridge. So then I just have to take it and shake it up. And then I run out, run down the steps. Mm, I have to have everything prepared because I don't function or think in the morning. I grab and I go. I don't know. We should talk a little more about that. Do you put them in like glass jars or do you put it in shaker I put cups? In the shaker, shaker cups. I have it all shaked and blended beforehand, but it does settle. So yeah. in the morning, I have to take it and, and mix it back up again. So energize, you just fill up your water, you put energize in it, you stick it in the fridge, you shake it every in the morning and yep. you're good to go. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. Um, tell me about Shakeology. Do you, well, first of all, okay. Woo, so many questions. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you said you drink Shakeology every day. I want to know what, it, what does it do for you? Or what have you noticed? It gives me a very healthy morning snack. It, I mean, we're going to talk about it. It makes you regular. <laughs> I think um, Energize makes you regular too, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that, but um, I don't know. I just feel good. I'm energized. And it does take cravings away. Like on the days that I don't have it, I notice I pick more. Mm-hmm. Love that. But again, so I load it with all kinds of stuff too. Like I have cauliflower in it, fruit in it, um, almond milk, ice. So it's a meal. <laughs> so you put frozen cauliflower rice in it? Is that what you do? Yep. yep. Such a good idea. Does it make it nice and creamy? Yes. It makes it very, very thick. And mm -hmm. then it takes one of my vegetables away that I actually have to eat during the yes. day. <laughs> I love this idea. I love it. Do you prepare those ahead of time as well no no I have it like I have it ready to go first thing in the morning and that I mix that as I'm packing my lunch for the day okay because um, I have that like about 10 o'clock in the morning so do you just keep your frozen cauliflower bags in the freezer and just scoop yeah. out a, just like scoop a it out. I scoop that out I scoop the ice out I put the frozen uh fruit in and then I just pour the powder in awesome so the the rice the frozen cauliflower rice you put a whole cup in there or how much do you put in? Um, depending on whether or not it's like, it's, it's supposed to be one full vegetable or half a vegetable. I just use my, my cup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your portion cup. Yeah. Awesome. I love this. This is so much information. I'm so happy. Okay. Christy, tell me, um, you're obviously, I think getting more veggies in your day because of drinking your Shakeology, which is yes. awesome. That is huge. Um, you feel healthier all around inside and out, which is just ginormous. Tell me about the community and how that has helped you. Oh my gosh. It is 
so amazing because I don't have, I mean, I have amazing friends and I have an amazing husband and family, but not very healthy. <laughs> and no one around me in my immediate network, really, they don't work out. They don't get what I'm doing. I'm on the diet. <laughs> I'll even my mom, like she'll invite my brothers over for like a big dinner. Oh, well, I didn't think you would eat because it's not on your diet. And I'm like, if you say it ahead of time, I can plan it in my day. <laughs> and I'm gonna know which container needs to go where. Yeah. So this group of everyone of like minds with like goals, it's, it's everything. <laughs> I love that. How do you, um, you said you go on the virtual gym. Yes. Every day, right? Yeah. Every day now you go in the virtual yeah. gym. Sometimes and I'm by myself. <laughs> what's that? I said, sometimes I'm by myself. <laughs> early. You get on early. Yes. I wonder, do you get on, do you see Melanie when you hop on there? Melanie gets on really early too. That's why I was wondering. No, I usually see Ursula, Rebecca comes on, Kim is on, sometimes Kaylee. <laughs> And Patty is usually coming on. I'll get on there too. As I'm getting off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, what about the bod group? Tell me more about that. How does that help you? And oh, you know what? Tell me about the bod group and like the challenges, the mini challenges. Oh my God, I love the mini challenges. <laughs> <laughs> it's that like last push at the end of the month when you're like, oh, I don't think I met my goals this month, and just I'm I'm just I'm very big into competition usually with myself not others <laughs> I just but went on a tyrant about how competition is a good thing the other day so <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that like for me like Mondays are the is is it's a fresh start no matter how much I screwed up the week before you know Monday I'm starting fresh mm -hmm. and it's the same thing with these challenges oh yeah that's just what I have to work for all week and it I have to have goals yeah I love it. So the, yeah, the mini challenges, they're seven day challenges. They're in the VOD group with your coach running them. Uh, they're just so much fun and they totally get you going. And so do you love being, do, are you teamed up on teams for your challenge? Um, sometimes we do um, like Kaylee's groups tend to be um, the groups. And I know Kim, I'm in both groups. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kim's group. I don't think there've been enough people doing the challenges. Like we just did the Olympics and it was, we, it was competing against ourselves. Like a spirit week. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So much fun. I love that. I love being able to be in competition. I think it works out really well. And I think if you have a, a good mindset, then it's going to be helpful, you know, well, versus there's times where you're just tired and you're not motivated. And that, I think that just gives that, that extra push. Totally. I love it. Awesome. So um, one more thing. Are you coaching? Are you inviting people to join your groups? Not yet. I have the training. I just really? have to actually do it. <laughs> Christy, think about how you feel. Are you ready to pay it forward for others? Yes. <laughs> okay. We won't get into it. Um, out there. <laughs> all right. All right. That's fine. Um, tell me overall in general, tell me what this whole system like the workouts the the programs the nutrition the people the community the supplements tell me how this whole total solution has helped you like think about before and think about now how has it helped you overall in your life oh my gosh it's it's like changed my life that i'm much more positive i have more energy um, I've learned how to like recharge, take time for me. Like my time in the morning is my workout and the evening I make sure that whether it's a personal development book, it's, I mean, I, I love bar blend. Bar blend has the meditations. It's like four minutes. I see, <laughs> I see uh, Kaylee's little girl. <laughs> um, but it just, it's just changed everything. My, my focus on my outlook on life. I just feel fabulous. <laughs> Most days. <laughs> Do other people notice a difference in you also? Oh yeah. At work, people know like you have so much energy, like you, you need to calm it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And I'm much better able to, I mean, things are very frustrating and things are very stressful that I can 
like decompress, triage, and kind of focus a lot better than I used to, like more like mental clarity. Gosh. I mean, think about what we're saying. Like if other people could just tap into this and to be able to experience a fraction of the way we feel, of mm-hmm. the energy, the, the cl- like you're talking about, the clarity, the being able to handle stressful things in life so much more easier with more grace, I want to say, mm-hmm. or more patience yes. is another one, you know, like um, you're right. You're absolutely right. And it comes down to so much. It comes down to what we're doing, you know, the physical attribute of working out and the endorphins, but also fueling our bodies. Right. And having that connection of other people is, is so big and people are missing out on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, I'm all for you coaching Christy on board of inviting other people to join us. <laughs> Girl, you have to coach. People need you in their life. They do. They absolutely, the energy that you have is contagious, Christy. And when you put that out there, people are going to just be so grateful for you being able to share that energy with them. And I'm grateful for you getting on here and sharing your story with us because your energy your energy just goes out to other people when they watch you. I can just tell your smile, your energy is just so, so beautiful and touching. Um, so awesome. Uh, Kaylee asks, what are some of your favorite personal development books? Um, right now I'm reading, most of it is uh, Brené Brown. Mm-hmm. Um, right now I'm reading, um, actually I have it right here. I thought it was just me, but it isn't. <laughs> A lot of books on calming the anxiety and focusing that it's okay you'll get to it (laughs) it's awesome I haven't read that one but I'm gonna have to I've heard other people say they've read that one and I'm on her blog and everything else she's just the way she says things she has amazing leadership books what is the name of that of that one that you're reading now um I thought it was just me but it isn't such a good title too (laughs) (laughs) I got to write it down. Awesome. Do, do any, does anybody have any other questions? Um, I know Becca said one of the most beautiful things you can do for someone is to help them transition to their next phase. Your heart is fabulous. Speaking about what you do for work. Um, Amanda said, I would love to talk more with you. Christy, listening to you brought up a lot of questions. I was curious about That's Good. She should yeah. reach out, reach out. out. <laughs> What's that? I said, tell her to reach out. <laughs> Awesome. I love it. I, I would ask now, but I don't want to put you on the spot. So. <laughs> well, you know, when she asks, I would like to know afterwards what she's asking you. I'm very curious as well. So. <laughs> want to know okay awesome thank you so much christy do you have anything to say last question anything to say to people who've been kind of following along maybe listening maybe once or twice heard other people but are kind of like on the fence whether they should just bite the bullet and get a challenge pack which probably seems like such a you know like like they're it's hard for them to connect the dots. You mean I get all of this if I just buy a challenge pack? Like, what would you say if they're on the fence of joining us? Just try it. It's not going to hurt to try it. I love it. You only fail by not trying. <laughs> that is so true. You only fail by not trying. Yes, I love that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Christy, for joining us. I loved talking to you. I love your energy and your spirit, and I really appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This recording will be in the Fit Party Central group, so you should add your husband to the group and let him listen to it. (laughs) (laughs) Hear that I said he wasn't supportive. (laughs) Uh, Well, I didn't get that out of this, so... (laughs) Awesome. I love you guys. See you later. We'll see you next week. And oh, before we go, let me tell you who is next week. Next week, we will have um, ba, 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 Jenna Bauer on here sharing her story as well. So make sure you're here Saturday morning, 8 a.m. The last weekend, Saturday morning, 8 a.m. The 28th is actually going to be a fit party. So not an interview. We're going to work out. We're going to have fun and we'll celebrate everybody's success. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Weekend. Bye.